Next up, we've got a Mr. Maple introduction. And this is a plant that Matt and I fell in love with. Acer Shirasolanum, we're bringing the magic, Magic Moon. I hear Al Mafo, he's going wild! So shout out to Al Mafo, he's the meme master, especially if you're in the Mr. Maple friends group. Alan put up memes. I kind of, it kind of hurt my heart a little bit to get one of these to Alan. I actually sent him one as a gift and I was like, man, but it means we're going to end the memes because Alan came up with the best Magic Moon memes for years. So like, I kind of didn't want that fun to end. It was a lot of fun. He would have like a, a picture of Magic Johnson and then like a full moon from McDonald's or like that. Uh, just every meme was different. It always had a moon and a magic and something going on. It would start to to lead to this magic moon theme there. And uh, hey, shout out to Alan. He's a great guy and a good friend. And uh, he's finally got magic moon in his collection. So I'm sure there'll be something new for him to get hyped up about. I've seen some, I've seen some kryptonite memes, but the hat, you hadn't reached the full splendor of the magic moon memes yet. Now, magic moon we named here at our nursery. This is a variegated style Shirasawadam. It gets this weird malting variegation style in it. This is actually a seedling that was sent to me by Jonathan Savage. That's the same guy who named Lillian's Jewel. Jonathan sent me this one. He said, I want you to see if you can put a name on this and evaluate it and do something with it. And it blew me away. I saw this tree. I sent him a bunch of really cool things in trade. And uh, I knew I had something special here as far as a variegated Acer Shirasawa. There's not any other thing that style has this style variegation unless you look at uh, Acer Pomatum uh, Purple Curls. I mean, that's the only other thing that has this Which style variegation. Which has some influence it, too, maybe. It, it may, it may. But... Acer Shirasawa Magic Moon, there's nothing else that has that style of variegation when it comes to maples mm. at all. And it's so unusual how the leaf twists, has that unique variegation where you have a green leaf with some of that yellow coming through it. Right. I mean, it's unlike, I don't even know how to describe the variegation. Mm -hmm. It's just so unusual and so different. When we got this tree, we actually, Matt was talking about getting it from Jonathan Savage, we also got Strawberry Fields, mm -hmm. which is one of our introductions from the Area 51 collection as well. But Magic Moon, this plant just knocks my socks off every right. time I see it and we had a little bit of a problem because when we offered this the first time we sold out too quick we sold out too many and didn't keep enough stock plants Brian's back. fault blame Brian so we it, <laughs> it's taken us a few years to be able to get and offer this tree again so when we offer Magic Moon again uh it's going to sell out really quickly because there's a lot of hype right behind Magic Moon yeah, one of those Area 51 trees, that just means we named and evaluated it here at our nursery. A lot of times other nurseries will send us plants to evaluate and put names on. And that's exactly what happened with this one. Before this one, the only really variegated form of Acer Shirasawadam was Sonia Marie. That was one that Talon had worked on. And uh, Talon will tell you himself it was highly unstable. Uh, he had somebody visit him from Europe and they said, I want to see your variegated Sonia Marie. And he said, I can't because it de-variegated. So this is a little bit more stable. I think it's one of the first true Shirasawadam leaves that actually has some variegation in it. So I think it's unique in that. I think you're really gonna wanna add this one to your collection. It, uh, it leaves out funky, but it gets even crazier as the summer comes on too. It just kind of keeps changing. And that's where we put that name Magic Moon on it. I think it was actually inspired, I was listening to JJ Kale and he had Cajun Moon, and I think it got the, the brain working toward the Magic Moon naming, but. Now, people may ask, they say, can this handle the sun? The truth is it's so new, we haven't grown it in full sun yet here in Western North Carolina. We've got it in some protection from the hot afternoon sun. It's done fantastic for us, but this plant is very unusual and very different. Yeah, I think it's gonna work in sun for you guys where you're growing something like say Jordan or even Moonrise seems to be very similar in comparison for that. 